Hello and uh, a warm welcome to Markplex and uh, this uh, 41st tutorial in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. As always, if you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com, M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com and join the list and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or release programs. So today's tutorial is a pretty basic uh, beginner level type tutorial and what we're going to be doing is looking at when we set a condition and when we might use an if-then statement to set a condition. So let's just go and look at a very simple program that I've created and what this program does is it creates a, a variable hi yes to c1 and uh, that is a true false variable. So what we do is we say that um, this variable is true if high is greater than the close of yesterday and low is less than the close of yesterday. In other words, if the bar straddles the, uh, the close of yesterday. And if that is the case, then what we do is we draw a show me dot on the chart. We draw, we draw that just below the, the low of the particular bar when the condition is true. So just to let you see what that looks like on the chart. And let's look at this particular day. Incidentally, this line here I've just drawn using an indicator just at the, uh, the close of day level. So for example, this bar, the, uh, the high is above the line, the low is below the close of yesterday, so we, we draw a yellow dot. Similarly for this line, however, for these ones, these lines do not, or these bars do not straddle the close of yesterday line and hence there is no dot, but this one does. So the high is above yesterday's close, the low is below yesterday's close, so we get a dot. So you can see in this way that each bar is evaluated and uh, if it is, uh, if it straddles, it gets a dot. If it, if it doesn't straddle, then it doesn't get a dot. So let's go back to the program and we're just going to make, uh, we're going to add another way of doing this. Okay, so uh, what I've done now is modified the program. As you can see, this, uh, this condition is still the same. The high has got to be greater than the close of yesterday and the low has got to be less than. And if that's true, then we draw this top. What I've also done, though, is added a, um, another condition. And that is that uh, instead of saying the condition is equal to that, I've said if the high is greater than the close of yesterday and the low is less than the close of yesterday, then we're going to set this new condition, this new variable high yes c2 to be equal to true. And if high yes c2 is true, and uh, you could write that as uh, high yes c2 by itself, we'll just say equals true. It's the same difference. Whoops, should be equals true then we plot a red dot. Oh, and incidentally, what we do at the start of each day, we say if uh, the date of this bar is not the same as the date of the previous bar, in other words, new day, then we're going to set this uh, variable, the new variable we just created, yes to see, high yes to C2, to be false. So let's just have a look at how that um, affects things on the chart. And uh, what I'm going to do is before we do that, I just need to validate it by pressing the little green arrow. You could press F3 and uh, then we go back to the chart. We'll see what it looks like. So let's look at the same day. And as you would expect, the bars that uh, the bars that straddle, they've got the red dot, but got something strange here happening. Well, not so strange when I explain, but what you'll see here that this bar doesn't straddle, but it still has a red dot. And the reason for that is the first bar of the day does straddle, so the um, high yes C2 variable is set to true. And then there's nothing to set it to false for the rest of the day, so you can see for the whole day that that is true. And uh, if we were to scan uh, this chart a little bit, we might find a situation where uh, the first bar doesn't straddle, so we don't get the um, the reds occurring throughout the day. Um, well, it seems like in most cases we do, as as you probably might expect. Well, for example, here here you can see um, that the uh, previous day closes at this level, and then we never get a straddling bar, so we never get any reds occurring. But on most days, obviously, 
uh, you are going to get the reds because you're going to get a straddling bar at the start of the day. So um, anyway, the the um, the point of this thing is that for a uh, situation where once something has occurred, you want that condition to remain true, then we would use the if uh, if the condition and then set the variable. However, if we just want it to happen on that specific bar like we did here, then we would just do it like we did with the highest C1 um, way of doing things. So for example, um, you might have a situation where a particular condition, so long as it occurred during a specific day, then you would uh, want to do something else like maybe uh, compare some other conditions and then get in a trade if it were a strategy or do something else in a, a show me study then this second way of doing it would be preferable. So um, before we finish I just wanted to show you how I got the uh, the line here very simple I just used a um, analysis technique uh, called custom one line and in the uh, formula I just put closed close D um, with a parenthesis one in them. Anyway, I hope that was useful and please again join the list if you're not part of it.